Hello everyone and welcome to Storm Swords. This is, I just punched Michael a little bit there, sorry about that. Uh, this is group two, uh, round one between Aatrox Esports Yellow and uh, Jedziemi Dus uh, Suznoka, I think that's how you say it. But getting into it, we're going to have Jedziemi, the blue team on the left here, team captain Kotar playing that Tassadar, uh, Kiratek QQ playing the Zagara Fatty on that stitches, so aptly named, oh, Durgan on the Zeratul, and Gatekeeper is going to be playing Jaina. In the meantime, the opposition here, we've got Aatrox Esports Yellow. Five, uh, we've got Apo four, playing that Diablo. Three, Last Tiger two, playing the Vala. Uh, sorry, playing the Tyrande. Well, I can't see for anything. Chris uh, or Kra, uh, Kra 1Z, so it's going to be Chris is playing that Meridian as the team captain. Got um, Ranmax on Reyna and finally Acid playing that Buccaneer Falstad. So we're going to see, uh, yeah, we're going to see Aatrox Yellow. Just come and just siege up this top lane, take a couple towers nice and easy for the creep wave. We're seeing a lot of teams doing this and to counter this, we've got uh, we've got Jedze, uh, Emi doing the exact same thing. Take a couple towers, get that experience, they're not losing out here. And yeah, Chris, take a bit of damage. I think the false dad uh, at this point should just fly bottom. And there he goes, Whee! bottom. And then he'll be able to soak up this lane. They've lost a creep's worth of experience here, but it shouldn't be too much. Meanwhile, we've got a fight happening top. Durgan able to blink himself out on that uh, Zeratul. Super, super low, though. Uh, but without doing uh, damage to Apo, it was he fell pretty low himself. The Zagara with all that cover damage really, really coming into our own there. It was just nothing to stop the Hydralisk, basically, and the Diablo wanted to move forward. So, yeah, Apo. Going to get caught out. He's been slowed by the Zeratul here. Taking a lot of damage. Going to Shadow Charge the Zeratul. Overpower him in order to try and get his escape through. But Zagar is there for those last couple right clicks. And uh, that's going to be a dead Diablo. So first blood goes the way of uh, Jedziemi. Nothing uh, particularly interesting happening here on the bottom lane. Um, I think that... I mean, we don't have the drafts for you guys to see. Um... This was pre Ling Ming, so I do apologise for the lateness of this video going up. I'm just searching for co-casters, but I'm just going to have to end up solo casting these until one of my co-casters comes online. So I've got one planned. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to have Zeratul and Jaina pick up that false down in the bottom lane. Jaina took quite a bit of damage, so it looked like she got aggressive, baited him out a bit, and, uh, and yeah, that was that. So Jed's Emmy taking two kills now. They're looking pretty strong at the start of this game. They're a full level ahead. They've taken, what? The, just the middle wall and uh, and one of the towers top. They've, all the ammo's gone from the second tower as well. So Zagara doing work here, and this will probably end up falling. Dergan on Zeratul looking to set up the gank. Probably could have gone a little bit earlier, but no, he's going to stay back. Play it safe. Oh, oh, he's thinking about it. He sees the Rainer. He wants to go on the Rainer, but Rainer with adrenaline rush. I don't think he's. They're going to be able to to kill him out all that easily. So he's going to think to maybe like blink and cleave. But now that the gate's dead, he's uh, almost safe to go. We've got Stitches versus Diablo in the meantime. Nothing special going on here. And this is a pretty good timing to take the siege camp. Maybe should have happened a couple seconds earlier. Oh, they finally do kill that Rainer there with the full-on dive. So apologies for missing that. But yeah, we've got uh, the siege camp taken. A couple seconds earlier would have been great. And the tribute spawning top would have been even better. But they take that siege camp just in time for the three-minute mark so that these bosses spawn. And this tribute's here. Might see an owl come out to interrupt this, but the Jaina is actually going to be able to take this gatekeeper, channeling it exactly when he needs to. He's taken a lot of damage, but the Tassadar's here to back him up, and yeah, Jedziemi getting that first tribute already. Nicely played by them. Now Zagara's just sat here in this top lane. This is going to be a fort down, so Jedziemi really, really taking the experience and lead here. They're about two and a half, well, a level and a half ahead. And I don't really see them falling down anytime soon. Diablo's actually taken a good chunk of damage there, but he's going to be able to back off and be safe. We're going to have Zeratul rotates this mid lane, just in case any uh, any gank can happen. But no, Stitch is going to soak the experience, and, and yeah, maintaining that level and a half lead. They're going to be level 8 before we see Aatrox Yellow hit that level uh, hit that level 7 mark, so... Really well played here, and the slows and the damage coming out uh, from the Zero Dawn Fire Diablo is just going to pick him up. The Meridian's going to have to dwarf, to dwarf toss himself over the wall for safety, and even then it's not that safe because there's no fault there. So, losing out a little bit here. Uh, meanwhile, going to have Tarande 
And Falstad almost killed the Jaina. Sorry, I got a little bit tense there for her. But no, she's not going to be picked up. Going to be able to uh, back herself off. And the next tribute should be spawning any second now, which it is. That is uh, top left. So chances are it will be either top right or bottom right. So we shall see. Everyone moving into position to, to maybe try and take this. Could be channeling this already. Deciding not to. Diablo's there, you know, clearing out some creeps. So well played by them. But we're going to have Ranmax on that uh, Rainer. Just get caught out. The Tyrande healing is not enough. And it's going to be another blink. There's going to be a hook. Plus, uh, you know, uh, the Singularity Spike from Zeratul. This is going to be too much. And that's going to be the dead Rainer and Tyrande, which is the support and a lot of the damage coming out up against the Stitches. So, second tribute going the way of Jedziemi, and they look really, really strong in this first game. Apo getting blocked out, body blocked a lot by the Zeratul, going to be able to shadow charge and then overpower his way to safety. But in the meantime, the Muradin was picked off top, probably due to uh, the Stitches getting off that uh, getting off that hook. So I do apologise for missing that again. Just kind of a little bit skirmishes and action everywhere. I need to follow the Zeratul quite closely. He's getting a lot of the action. Speaking of which, we've got a putrid bar coming down. And a void prism, which a uh, bit of a weird void prism. It allowed his team to maybe catch up and get uh, and get there, but Tarande is going to die super quick. Diablo is being slowed by that putrid bar. The force wall comes down, blocking him out, and yeah, that is an absolutely crushing fight for Jetimi. They win that out. Durgan showing just how good this Zeratul can be. He's really making plays. He may not even be doing the most damage, he's just making plays. I'm just going to have a quick look here. And yeah, he's uh, he's doing decent damage, actually. You know, credit where credit's due. He is doing uh, he is doing everything he needs to. So we've got this old style uh, UI coming up here because this is an old replay. And I thought I'd fix the problem, got the Blizzard UI and all of that jazz, but it's just not working. So I've gone back to this one, managed to at least get a UI, so... That's nice to have. And we've got a curse out here. Six and a half minutes into the game. All three tributes. And with the siege camp, they're going to push into this bottom keep. Nice and easy. Boss taken, being taken up here for Aatrox Yellow. Um, oops, sorry about that. Not too sure what I feel about this. You're going to have to have Falstad and, uh, and the Diablo back up really quick. Otherwise, this is... Uh, they're going to lose their keeper. I think they're going to lose their keeper anyway. They've got a siege camp up here. They've got all five members. It's just not enough. And That boss will do some work, but I'm not really sure how much because, look, they've lost a keep. Seven minutes in, one keep down. Jedziemi looking to maybe keep pushing. Just going to back off, play it a bit safe. Rotate around. They've still got about 20 seconds, what, 15 seconds left on this curse. They could just siege up this wall up front and, uh, and see what they can do here. Most likely going to back up. And defend their boss, but uh, so defend against the boss up in top. But that you're gonna go and take theirs. Don't have the best lineup for doing it. I mean, Jane is pretty nice, but uh, and the cigar can do some tankiness. But I, but they definitely have a weaker lineup for doing it compared to Aatrox Yellow, with, who obviously have that Tyrande. there. And the owl's gonna scout this out, but it's way too late as they take their boss, and they may look to push with it. Meanwhile, that boss has actually done work. He's taken out the fort up top, and that's going to get Aatrox Yellow. They're level 10. They are three levels behind at this point. A full talent tier as well. So this is, uh, this is getting a bit dangerous. I'm just going to have a quick poke at the talents whilst we get the Diablo hooked in. Fourth will come down to block him off. A really good Mighty Gust for the disengage. Hyperion come down a little bit wasted. Couple disengage cover spells, but... Uh, Demi uh, sorry, Jetsy Emmy, they're just going to... Ignore that hype here and walk all the way through it. They don't care. They've got Zagara and Maul, which we haven't seen all game yet. Oh, the fourth ball out from the uh, from Tassel with that hook. Able to just barrel roll himself away from it. But Zeratul is getting taken out a lot. He's taking a lot of damage here. He's going to be able to back himself off. And that Maul lands on three. The boss is doing damage to the core. And that is a wombo right there. The uh, Muradin Dwarf does himself out. Going to try and pick up that, that Zeratul. But the Tassar shields are just too strong. Off support for off support here. And this is... Uh, Pre, this is pre-nerf, Toronto nerf, I believe this game is, so yeah. Well played, Jedziemi. Sealing it out in a really, really quick sub-nine minute game. They just look really, really dominate. They didn't even lose a single person. Nobody died that entire game. So, game number one goes to Jedziemi, and we will see if they can repeat the performance in game number two. Remember, this is a best of two, so draws can happen. 
Um, but looking strong going into this first round.